Have you ever wanted to build a Discord server for your role play community? Well, I'm going to tell you exactly how you can do that. So I've made a little bit of a Discord server here where you can copy straight off this and the template link for this Discord server will be in the description. All you want to do is you want to click on that link, click accept, and you'll be able to get to a screen that looks just like mine. Once you're at that screen, then you want to have a look around. As you can see, I've already set you up some channels like announcements, chat, and general VCs. So you will need to turn a few things on and off, which I'll show you how to do. And I'll also show you how to make more channels so you can make, for example, events under announcements and the Sydney channel, which I have in my proper Sydney roleplay channel. As you can see, you can make this entire Discord server just with this template. So I've just got the template code and I'm gonna paste this in the announcements channel. I'm going to go ahead and view the template. And as you can see, it'll come up with this pop-up when you paste it in on Discord and you click view template. And you can see that it'll come up with my username and server. So you wanna change this to the name of your server. For example, I will do Los Angeles Hire is free because this is the new community that I want to make. And then what I want to do is I want to choose a logo from my folder that I want to make this server have. So I have just grabbed a nice PNG from my downloads folder and now I'm going to click create. And here is the new Los Angeles hire us free server that I have just made. Now as you can see I will have no roles but that is all right as we are the owner of this server we have all the permissions automatically. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to give yourself some roles. Otherwise, this just won't work. So what I'll do is I'll go to settings and then I'll go to roles. And as you can see, we have got four roles here that I have set up for you. The first one is a lock role. And if you scroll all the way down on the permissions list, you can see it has administrator. Administrator is a very, very dangerous permission to give as someone can raid your server with this permission. So please make sure that you only give it to people that you trust and know extremely well. I'm also going to go back to the display and I'm going to turn display role members separately from online members and I'm going to turn that off because we do not want the lock role showing in our member list. And if I just go back, then I will also want to give myself the owner role. So I'm just going to give myself the lock role and then I'll also come down to the owner role and I'll give myself the owner role. Now this owner role, because it's only for yourself, will have the administrator permission, but just make sure that you're not giving this away as a meme as people can raid your server while you have given it away. Now back to the display page and you will of course want to turn on display role members separately from online members. This will mean that you display as the owner in the server list. Now, as you can see, it will say owner and how many of the owners are online. Because you are the only one, it should only say one when you are online. If it doesn't, you'll want to go back to the roles and you'll want to double check that no one, nobody else has this role. Once you have done that, then you want to work on the roles that you're going to give away to your staff. Now, remember that administrator is a very, very powerful permission to give, and we don't really want to give it to our administrators and moderators, which we not, may not know that well. So what I have done for you is I have set up some permissions that I think your administrators and moderators should have. If you'd like to change any of these, feel free to go into the permissions tab of the two roles as they are in both and you can change some of the permissions. Moving on to the permissions of channels. Now, as you can see, I've set you up a few channels. So this vault channel, you should go into edit channel, you should go to permissions and then you should turn on this private channel. You only want people that you really, really trust accessing this channel as this is where you'll store secrets of your server, maybe even livery codes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign this to the lock role, which should be automatic because it has the administrator permission and also the owner role, which is yourself. Now that I've done that, my main account will see the channel, but they cannot access it or anything inside of it. Now I'm going to move on to the announcements channel. So right now my main account, which has absolutely no permissions on the server as it is just a member can type in the announcements channel. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the announcements channel. I'm going to go to permissions. I'm not going to turn on private channels, but I'm going to select advanced permissions and then I'm going to add a role. So I want only my admins to be able to type in the channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to admins, make sure that you're on this page and then go send messages and channel. You'll also want to make them able to send messages and threads, create public threads and create private threads just in case you want to have some polls. And then you want to go to at everyone, which because I don't have the member role, at everyone is the default role. But if you do set up a member role, then you'll want to add it here. Just pretending that mod is my member role, I will want to go to the mod, make sure that you're on mod and not admin. And then you will want to click on cannot send messages and cannot create any threads, but I do want them to be able to participate in polls. So make sure that you do turn on send messages in threads. Because at everyone is my default permission, I'm going to make sure that they do have the perms that I would have given to my member role. So I'm just going to do that now. And now my main account cannot type in the announcements channel and only I can, but my main account can still see the channel. So I can say hello, perfectly fine, and it goes through. Moving on to the staff section. Because these two are for the community, we do not need to worry about them. But moving on to the staff section, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the whole category. So what I just did was I just right clicked on this little staff box up here. I went to edit category. I went to permissions. And then what you want to do is you'll just want to turn on private category because you do not want anyone seeing anything that is sent inside of the staff category and you want to add all your staff roles. So that is administrator and moderator. And then anyone who does not have those permissions will not be able to see the staff channels. So now that we've got that all set up, I'm going to show you exactly how you get more channels in your Discord server. So you're, what you'll want to do is, for example, I will go to the chat and I will copy this little figure here. So because you cannot usually type a line, like I'm trying to type a line right now, but it is not working, you do need to copy this special character, and then you'll want to click plus, and then you'll want to do control paste, or however you would usually paste. Sometimes you can just paste via this, and as you can see, it works fine. And then you want to go to your emoji menu. So I'm gonna pick myself an emoji, Let's just say the fire and then I'll want to do media or something that you want this channel to be for. As you can see, I've just made myself a media channel and now there is a chat and media. If you would like to make another announcements channel, just make sure that you do turn off the permissions that I said earlier in the video for the announcement channel. Otherwise, people will be able to type on it. Moving over to bots, if you have seen my recent video, you will know that ERM is the best moderation bot for ERLC. And you can go watch that video for the reason why. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add ERM to the server. I'm going to look up ERM and then I'm going to go to ERM and I'm going to go to add app and then I'm going to go Los Angeles hire is free, continue and continue. And then you may have to do a verification. And then you just want to click go to Los Angeles, hire is free. And as you can see, ERM is in your server. Because this is a Discord bot, you can trust it with the lock role. So just give it the lock role so it has the highest permission in the Discord server. And then that is your bot all set up. What you'll want to do at a later date is you'll want to go to the dashboard for ERM. The link for that will be in the description. And you'll want to go there and set up all of the permissions for your staff, but I'm not going to cover that in this video. The next thing that you'll want to do is you want a Discord moderation bot. So I'm going to go back to the app directory and I'm going to search up Sapphire. And once I've done that, I'm going to go to the first bot and then I'm going to click add app. And then you'll have to visit this site. So I'm now on their web page and it will ask me what server that do I want to add it to. I'm going to go Los Angeles hire is free. Then I'm going to go authorize as we do trust this bot. We're going to verify that I'm human again. 
and it will now be in your server. Now what you want to do is you'll want to log in with Discord to be able to access the dashboard. Again, this will all be linked in the description. And then as you can see, it will be in the dashboard for you to set up. Back over to Discord now, as you can see in our Los Angeles Hires free server, we now have ERM and Sapphire. Make sure that you keep giving the lock roll to these bots. And then the last bot that you'll want to add, which is raid protection, is Wick. So I'm going to go to app directory, then I'm going to search up Wick, and then I'm going to add the first bot, and I'm going to add app, Los Angeles Hires free, authorize, and then I'm going to go I am human. Go to Los Angeles Hires Free. Wick will give you a welcome message just saying thank you for choosing Wick. Wick has been added to Los Angeles Hires Free successfully. So then you know it has worked. And what you'll want to do is instead of giving it the lock roll, because in case any of the bots are compromised that you added to the server, you're going to get this Wick roll that Wick automatically makes when it's added to the server. And you're just going to drag it to the top. And then you're going to go save changes. Now you're going to go to the WIC dashboard. That will be linked in the description. Just so you're aware, it will automatically set WIC up for you, but there are some changes that can be made, which I'm not going to cover in this video. The last thing that you will want to do in your ERLC Discord server is just some things to make it look better. As you can see through all of this time, there's been messages that say a new person has joined the discord now sapphire does do this in a way better way so i do suggest using sapphire's welcoming system and not the default so how to turn the default one off is go to server settings and then what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to engagement and once you've done that you just want to turn all of these off and it does not matter what channel it is but i'd recommend no system message so then all of these will be automatically blacked out then you'll want to go display activity feed in the server which will get rid of the ugly activity feed showing what everyone is doing in the server and then you'll want to make sure that all of this is what it's showing for me right now the last thing that you will want to do is you want to go to enable community you want to go to get started you want to verify email required you want to scan media from all members and you want to go next and then you'll want a rules and guidelines channel and a community updates channel i would recommend send, sending this to your vault so i'm going to select vault and then you just want to agree and understand it will finish setting that all up and now you'll notice that you have a rules channel so you can just drag this down to engagement keep current permissions because it discord has already set up permissions for you then you just want to copy and paste your formatting and i'm going to get a nice rules icon so i've just put a hundred percent in front of rules that looks perfect and now you have got a rules channel and discord will send notifications to your vault when they update something about your server the last thing that enabling community will do it will allow you to have forms, announcement channels, and stages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the announcements, click edit channel, and then you'd want to go to announcement channel. You also will want to make a stage for events. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the formatting for the general VC. I'm going to go to create channel, stage, and then you'll just want to go to events stage once you have done that you just want to add roles that will be able to speak on your stage and get up from the audience without asking so i'm going to do that to administrators not moderators and i'm going to go ahead and create the channel now as you can see when i join it will say welcome to the stage your mic will be muted unless you're invited to speak and i'll say got it and then I will mute the music because that is 100% copyrighted. And then you'll have three options. Start the stage, create event, or continue without starting. Usually you'll want to just start the stage unless you have an event which is very technical and I will not go over it in this video. So I'm going to just go ahead and start the stage. You want to pick a stage topic. So I'm just going to say session if you want to have a session event in this server and then we'll let everyone know that the stage is starting so this means that a ping will be sent out to every single member in your server 
So I'd recommend turning this off, but if you want to leave it on, you can. And then I will go start the stage. So as you can see, I'll be automatically put up to the top and members of my Discord can join. And if I really want them to, I can invite them to speak in which they'll get a pop-up and they can accept and they'll be able to speak on the stage. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I post and I'll see you on the next video.